Yo, what's up, Jello Squad? My name is Jisel, and welcome back to another Redstone episode. Today, I will be showing you this fully automatic, as you saw it fire right there without me doing anything. Fully automatic, 100% compatible with your Minecraft world. Uh, sugarcane farm, ye. With the jello blocks. See the jello. See, do you see the jello blocks? Beautiful jello blocks. I used beautiful jello blocks. Okay. Redstone, it's actually really compact. You can build this as many levels as you want. I just did two. I'm going to show you only one, though. But you could do as many. I can build it. How high can this thing go? Mm. Mm. Um. Up here. More. Right here. Up, more, higher. It could go up to here if you want. I don't even know if you could build up that high, but you could build as high as you possibly want, all the way to the real top. So yeah, not not too harmful with resources. Really, the only hard thing to get here is the jello, because it uses a good amount of jello. But you're saving out on pistons and stuff. So. Let's get right into this. You're obviously going to need hoppers, comparators, some building block, sticky pistons, a redstone block, redstone, repeaters, a regular piston, sand, and redstone torches. Okay? So, oh, and you also need furnaces and jello blocks. That's right. Here. So start off by building your actual room. So you're gonna have, let's say I have it firing here. So if you wanna, just like this, just on this level, you'll need, let me get the furnaces, that's actually important for the build. So just get that. You'll need furnaces along the bottom like this. They can be facing back like this, so they're not, they're not visible, I believe. Oh, no, 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 they're fine. Okay, one here, furnace there, furnace there, and then you could also, you could go up like this, up one, and then back like this. So it's just like that. Once you have it just like that, you just come around to the other side, take your jello, and place it along here, just like this. Now what you do is you'll take one sticky piston and place it somewhere, just like that, right there. Now what you do, come around to the other side and build it just like this. Take a block here, block here, a regular piston facing up, block here, and a block there. So now you have redstone, regular uh, repeater, a uh, four tick repeater, and then a red redstone there. Now I will show you how to also add more layers la later on, but this is it for now. So now what you do is you take sand, place it like this, place it right there, right there, it's right there, right there, right there. And then you take a redstone block. If it fires the uh. If it fires the jello blocks out one like that, then it's working. Now what you gotta do is you gotta. Now you gotta take a sticky piston. Oh, dude, not like that, like that. Stupid. Replace that. Uh, just build it up like that, so it's like that, and then put another sticky piston right there. Now, take a, hang on, let me build that, like that, block just there with redstone on top of it, take another block and build it up to the side just like that, do the same on the other side, redstone block, now have a comparator leading into that block right there, just like that, just like that. Now, take a hopper, lead it into one place. Take a hopper here, lead it into that hopper, and then remove that hopper and replace it, pointing into that. So it makes these hoppers going in an infinite loop. 
So now you can take one item, and you'll see it'll just move it back and forth. You can take as many items as you want. I'm just going to use sand. And it'll make the timer longer. As you can see, it's back. And then once all this stuff, all the sand goes over to the other side, you'll see it pushes out. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It needs to go back around. So let me force do that for you so you can see. It should push out once it switches to redstone, and that's how that works. So now that you have that timer done, this is going to be done. You can put out as many blocks as you, in, as you like in. On this one, I have one stack, I think. Yeah, one stack. So keep it around one stack if you want it to be like efficient as mine. So that's how that'll work. Now, what you got to do for the actual building part is you have to go... That, there, like that. Furnace, you'll still need furnaces there. This will also take a lot of cobblestone for the furnaces, so make sure you have that. But that's not too hard to get. Just like that. Now what you do is you go down here, place sand right there. Just like that. Right one block beneath the furnaces and over one. So it's in line with these furnaces. Now you go and take water over here. Just like that, over here, and build it or drill it out to the middle, just like that, so it leads into a center like this. Now what you do is you just close it off, take any of your any choice of your building block, just like this. Make sure you're not covering the water, and then go up like this. And I'm gonna go over like this, just to make it look nice cover no don't cover it up there if you cover it up there you need it needs to be furnaces or you don't have to if you don't want to but you I'm gonna do that anyways so I'm gonna cover this up with furnaces just like that and there you go so now that you have that you could put glass here you don't even need this like this you could just put glass there if you want to be able to see into it just like that so if you want to see into it, put glass there. It has to be full out glass though, so none of the sugar cane gets pushed into the side and clings onto the side. And then if you want to light it up, just take a uh, glowstone, which I suggest you using. Put it like there and on the other side as well. And then I'm also going to fill this in to make it look nice. So now that you have that, that's pretty much the farm done. All you need to do is go in there and place in your sugar cane you probably were guessing oh yeah right there but the reason i didn't is so later on for survival where is the sugar cane? later on for when you're actually building it uh you'll actually be able to build without having it all in your way so i didn't show you that but yeah now once that's done you have a nice farm design so every now and then once They'll occasionally grow. It'll actually push out the jello blocks, hitting the whatever uh, is grown and pushing it into the water. You don't really need it two blocks high or three blocks high, I don't think. But you know what? I'm gonna have it three blocks high, just to prove a point. But actually, I'm gonna leave these furnaces here. But you don't. I don't think you need it three blocks high because I don't think it's gonna grow that high in the amount of time that I gave you, so. Actually, this doesn't need to be furnaces. That doesn't need to be furnaces if you don't want to. Let me just make it this. So once you have this done, though, your farm is pretty much done. Now whenever it grows, it'll shoot it into here. Let me do this side as well. So you're, it pushes it, even if it is three high, it'll push it still into the water. So it should just be like that. So now when it grows, it'll hit it and push it in the water. Now you just need your chest area, or your chest collector. So you need chest here, just like down here, to, or whatever. So it's one below the water. You'll go in where the water is, take this block out, lead into the chest right there, and place hoppers like that leading into the chest. So whenever something falls in the hopper, let's say it's a sugar cane, it'll fall in, it'll end up in the chest. 
right there, just like that. Now, you may be wondering, how do I make it too high if, I, if you want to? You'll need this and torches, Han, that's over here. It's actually really simple. It's just the same exact thing, just you place one here, a block running from that redstone there, torch, block, torch, block, and then you take your sticky piston here with your jello running out of that. And yeah. So don't make it too long because uh, the piston won't be able to actually push the jello. So don't make this too big. But it goes like that. And so now it'll push here and then push that. And then you just rebuild it up on the top. And you can have a, a hopper filter filtering into this chest, like, from up here. So, you can have it like this, if you want it. So, whenever it falls in the water, it'll go into these hoppers here, just like this. And be transported down into that chest. But yeah, so, I'm not going to show you how to build the top part, because I'm sure you already know. You just need to copy this design down here, up top here. And that's it with that. So now... That's pretty much how it works, if you understand. So, that's how this guy, big guy here works. So yes, Jail Squad, thank you for watching this episode. If you did enjoy watching, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new to join the Jail Squad today. And I will see you next time, Jail Squad. Peace. Yeah.